power of sport. But this is raw sport. Former national under-20 coach Michael McComey is back in town as a former national goalkeeper was forced to leave national football following an investigation regarding an incident with a young player in training. McComey spoke to Raw Sport TV explaining what transpired and is calling on the TTFA to come out and clear his name. You know, like everything else in Trinidad, we had a couple of coaches on the staff um, that, in, in my view, didn't warrant and um, no, had no right being around young national footballers and um, you know Mike McComey being Mike McComey I had to make certain decisions and at the end of the day um, they did what they thought was best but um, I welcome the investigation um, the investigation was done I have the documents um, the only surprising thing for me is that the Federation rushed to do a release while the investigation was going on and um, unfortunately to this day they have not rushed to give um, you know the results of the investigation and that is one of the reasons I'm also back here to take care of that of course um, by saying this I would like to categorically state that in no way this is any um, ill will towards the Federation because at the time Mr. Tilke was not the president Sheldon Phillips was not involved in the Federation but regardless, um, you know, the Football Federation is, is, is older than all of us. Mm. Um, it will be here way past all of us. And at the same time, I have my name to see about. And um, I'm here and I've been requesting that from them because I've been trying to stay away from any legal battles with the Federation. But again, I think, um, you know, good sense will prevail. And again, I'm not asking for any favors. I'm asking them to publish what the result is. Of the investigation was of course I have the results it was given to me um, you know everything that was said was exactly that it was just allegations it was nothing um, the youngster every, everything was made out to be a lot worse than it was um, fortunately for me and I thank the way in which I operate as a professional everything was documented in terms of taped on DVD all mm -hmm. my sessions were taped including that one so I think it was you know it was, it was a straightforward case um, but as I said before um, I, I was cleared um, unfortunately, I was not cleared publicly like I was condemned. But, um, you know, that's, that's Trinidad, that's football, and it's no stranger to me. However, meantime, Makumi is involved with his second passion, table tennis, and is currently doing some work with TNT's number one ranked player. Basically just relaxing and, and doing what I like to do best after football, which is um, playing a lot of table tennis. You know, mm -hmm. I've always been involved with table tennis and, um, you know, Fortunately for me, um, you know, a couple of national players, table tennis that mm. is, um, ask for my assistance in terms of some fitness work and more so agility work because um, their season obviously is a bit different than the football season. Mm. One of the players that I'm actually assisting now in terms of the fitness work is Curtis Humphrey. Mm -hmm. um, he's the number one ranked player in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, he's been on the national team for a number of years and, um, you know, he has some big tournaments coming up this year um, as well as a... a, a a, a invitation to go to a professional club in Sweden so um, you know me being, being who I am of course I'll, I'll never turn back um, any sports person where I can help Despite the financial woes the Trent Tobago Football Association is facing President Raymond Timke seems set on bringing back Leo Ben Hacker to work with the national program Is, is Leo Ben Hacker yeah. due back yeah. in Trent Tobago anytime soon? Yes He is? As soon as money has become available Right uh, he will be here. He will be here. Yeah. What Mr. Benaka has done with his short involvement with us so far, uh, and you could hear from Mr. Hart as well, because I mean, they like father and son who have a good relationship, and and they discuss some technicals. And even the players have been testifying about their experiences, both very experienced players and the younger players. Because I saw Mr. Benaka, Benaka do, and he's a real trainer and a real trainer in terms of training somebody. On, on something and um, getting them to appreciate themselves and get them to, to feel good about themselves and feel empowered and, and those are some variables which people people uh, do not give the respect that uh, they, they, they deserve because a man who is made, who is empowered and whose self-esteem is, is pumped up could do anything and that is why Trinidad as small as we are, per capita with any country in the world, we are going shoulder to shoulder with them in terms of performance, not only in sport, but many other fields of endeavor, mm -hmm. right? 
we do not set, we, we second guess, we grow up in an environment of second guessing. And Ben Hacker and those guys trained them or taught them or guided them not to do that. Yeah. And you, you see the results. And following reports that a Caribbean Football League is expected to be unveiled in 2015, top TT Pro League coach W Connections Stuart Charles Fevier is welcoming the initiative. Personally, I think a Caribbean Football League is long overdue, in my opinion, you know. Um, the, the Caribbean basically is the only part of the world that's virtually still amateur, really, you know. Um, in football, there is no other way to the top. Professionalism is the only way. There is no other way. And I believe that the Caribbean, we have talent, but to compete with the world, we need to go professional, you know, and I, I think a Caribbean professional league is thinking in the right direction. And some people might be negative towards it, but there'll always be challenges. But even in the developed football countries, they had challenges when they started professional football. And the Caribbean will be no different. I always believe where there is a will, there is a way. And the Caribbean should not stop, you know, working hard towards getting professional football in the Caribbean. That's my view.